Hey guys, happy Sunday morning. Good morning to you guys. Does it not seem like kids write their news? They they come out saying one thing one day, and then the very next day they turn around and say, nope, never happened. That's going on tremendously, guys. It's them trying to implement confusion because we're getting closer to the finish line. They did have a session of parliament today. So with the with the session of parliament, um they never they did not vote to extend parliament. And that's the weird part. So they announced, they announced a um, on Wednesday, they announced a month and a half par uh, parliamentary recess, and then they said they were going to vote today to extend the current session, which they did not do. But they also had a session of parliament today. Go figure. So let's get into the news. All right, the first article: the president of the republic holds intense meetings in the coming hours to resolve premiership. So let's talk about this for a second, and let's let's go back and just look at the 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 way that everything played out with the education minister. So remember, back around the end of 2018, the original education minister had it was a female. She resigned because someone close to her supposedly was part of ISIS, and so she resigned due to um, due to someone close to her and her family being part of ISIS. Okay. And then, so through the whole year of 2019, they kept waiting and waiting and waiting for a new um, education minister. And then ironically, the demonstrations start at the very beginning of October. Out of nowhere, they put in an education minister at the blink of an eye. Basically, like they, they didn't even vote. It just they grabbed one out of thin air. That's kind of the direction they're going right now with a new PM. Let's look at that for a second. So, um, not too long ago, it's probably it's probably mid November, early December, somewhere in there. Remember, Baram Sela, the president, guys, had actually flown into Washington to meet with the Trump administration to discuss all of this. Shortly after Baram Sela returned back to Iraq from Washington, you saw articles about a gentleman by the name of Alawi being nominated for PM or possibly being nominated for him. Now he. He actually is the former prime minister, Ayat Alawi. It's his, I think it's his cousin or something like that. Anyway, they're related. So that's what this article is talking about. Let's read it. It says, the president of the republic will hold intense meetings in the coming hours to resolve the premiership. On Saturday, this article is from yesterday, Saturday, a member of the House of Representatives, Muhammad al Khaldi. Oh, you know what, guys? I'm sorry. I'm not even showing you guys the, uh, the news article. There you go. All right. The President of the Republic will hold intense meetings in the coming hours to resolve the premiership. On Saturday, a member of the House of Representatives, Mohammed al Khaldi, revealed the intention of the President of the Republic, Baram Sela, to hold intense meetings of political blocs to resolve the mandate of the next Prime Minister and indicating that all the names that were, propo were proposed were excluded except for Mohammed Tafik Alawi. Okay? So, notice how... He was one of the very first ones um, talking about being nominated right after Baram Sela returned from Washington. And now he's still the last one and kind of the being talked about. So what I'm showing you here, notice they're kind of playing the same game with this gentleman that they did with, with you know, kind of with the education minister. Al Khaldi said in a statement to form to information that the coming hours will witness intensive meetings of President of the Republic, Baram Sela, with the heads of political blocs in order to resolve the issue of the presidency of the next government. He added that all the names have been put forward to head the government are no longer competitive, with the exception of Mohammed Tafik Alawi, who was nominated by parliamentary bloc, bloc of more than 60 deputies, as well as the presence of support by demonstrators, and the lack of political rejection. So as you guys see right there, they said, um, they talked. they're talking about right here, the nomination of Alawi. And it said Alawi was actually nominated by parliamentary blocks of more than 60 deputies, as well as the presence and support of demonstrators. So Alawi is liked by demonstrators. They want him. That's good. He explained that the ball is currently in the court of the president of the republic, after nominate after not nominating the largest block 
hold on guys i got a slide up here okay he added the names have been put forward to head the government are are no longer competitive with the exception of muhammad tafik alawi who was nominated by a parliamentary bloc of more than 60 deputies as well as the presence and support of the demonstrators and lack of political rejection he explained the ball is currently in the court of the president of the republic after not nominating the largest block or agreement between demonstrators and political box to choose a certain figure to head the government so guys my point is you know that it looks like they're playing some games here you know this gentleman was was one of the first ones to be recommended as a nomination right after Baram Saleh returns back to Iraq from Washington and now he's the last one still there okay so just anyway let's see how it plays out so we got that all right next article in the document the agenda of today's parliamentary session the house of representatives announced on sunday the the agenda of its session to be held today sunday a parliamentary source said the agenda included a vote on the iraqi commission of the accreditation law proposal and the first reading of the draft law of the council of ministers and ministries and a proposal for a law to amend the first law of judicial supervision authority number 29 of 2016. he added the agenda included the first reading of the proposed law of the revolutionary command council dissolved resolution number 218 of 2002 the first reading of the draft law of the third amendment to the great imam college law number 19 of 1997 and the first reading of the proposed law for the first amendment of the law of the urban and regional planning center number 116 for the year of 1971 in addition to general discussions now i wanted to show you one more article on today's uh you know kind of parliament work and this is where it gets this is where it gets interesting the agenda this is what they're telling you the agenda of today's set parliament session was Alpharat News, today the Parliament holds a regular session in which it votes and reads a number of draft laws and proposals. And without the agenda of the important and contentious laws, so they're right here saying, here's, here's what they're saying is not included in today's agenda. Important and contentious laws demanded by demonstrators, such as fighting corruption, and where did you get this and the laws of the federal court oil and gas the budget freedom of expression peaceful demonstration okay so guys the, the what what have i been telling you is all post rate change okay i've told you that the demonstrators demands are post rate change and they're inside the 2020 budget okay um the federal court the oil and gas law the budget okay i've told you guys all of those things at this point are are the, the budget i wasn't 100 percent sure on the budget i need to see how the budget was playing out because the council of ministers already drafted the budget before the rate change so i wasn't sure on the budget if they if parliament would actually since the since the council minister ministers were able to draft the budget and have it done by the very beginning of december I wasn't sure if they were actually going to be able to pass it off to Parliament and have Parliament approve the budget before the rate change. But if if Parliament really has not started the, the to even the approval process of the budget by the beginning of February, guys, then the budget's post rate change at that point. It, that's how you'll know. Okay. But right here, they're telling you that the demonstrators' demands, the Federal Court Act, and the oil and gas law, all of those items we're not part of today's agenda guys because they're post rate change items and they're waiting on a new rate before they can be implemented and they also have to have money allocated for them from within the 2020 budget it's that simple guys so it's yeah just what i was trying to tell you is it's kind of weird and bizarre how how they announced a parliamentary recess but then they turn around and then they said they were going to extend the current legislative term as of today which they it shows they did not do but yet they turn around and have another session of parliament so go figure that it looks like literally it seems like kids 
are writing their news articles. You, you can't get straight facts out of them. It's very bizarre. Anyway, guys, but either way, the fact that they had a, a, a session of parliament today, it looks as though that they may have extended their term and that, and that parliament is going to still resume. So anyway, guys, have a great day. We'll see what happens. Take care.